These are randomly generated NHL players. For today's challenge, the player's name is going to be scrambled. After selecting 20 players either at random or by decoding their name, we will assemble the team in NHL 24 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. I can already tell this is going to be extremely challenging. First set of random players. Let's see if I can decode any of these, and I don't think I can just by looking at them. I feel like the one on the left should be easy, but it's not. I'm just going to go for the middle player. I genuinely cannot figure any of these out. Oh, let's go. That is a good pick. Next set of players, we get Byfield in the middle and Bertuzzi on the right. I'm trying to figure out who the left player is though. Is there a double T at the end? Is it starting with a T? Because the scramble is random, it could genuinely just spell out the name for me. That's a possibility. I think I'm gonna go with Byfield though. Oh, it was Cotter. Yeah, I never would have got that. Our third forward, we have Bedard, Marner, and Johnson, I believe. Yeah, okay. Those ones were easy. Marner's definitely the highest overall. Bedsy is sick, though. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We took Byfield. Let's take Bedsy as well. And there he is. Let's hope he can score some toe drag release for us. I've been doing pretty good recently, and I think I am tapping out here. Or maybe not. The middle one is Verhaggy. The far right is Nachushkin. Who are you? If I don't get it within the first 10 seconds, then I'm just going to give up. But I will be taking Verhegi regardless. Jersey number 62. It still is not coming to me. I have no idea who this is. Oh, it's Lekkinen. That checks out now. All right. Well, we took Verhegi. That one's pretty easy. We have middle stat. We have Monahan, And the middle feels like it should be easy. And I can't get it. You know what? I've been taking players that I do know. Let's go for the middle one, where I have no idea who that is. Again, as soon as you see it, it's like, yep, I don't know how I didn't get that. JG Pajot, number 44, is joining our squad. Give me a stud. That should be easy, and it's not. We definitely have Lundell in the middle. Ta-ta! No, there's a B. Who are you? Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do from now on is... When the players reveal, even if I know it, I'm not going to say it right away so you guys can kind of play along. I won't wait too long. It's just so that when the players reveal, you can pause it. But I also just figured out who the left player is. I have no idea who the one on the right is, though. From left to right, we have Jesper Bratt. We have Lundell. And we have Mystery Man. And I'm going to be going with Jesper. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go with the right player because we kind of already have ya. And that's the second time he stumped me. Let's keep it rolling here. I don't think I know any of these. Motskaz. No clue. I think this is gonna be a shot in the dark. I guess I'll go with the player on the right. Oh. My. Word. It is the pasta. We're winning the Stanley Cup once and for all. It's our time, baby. I couldn't even tell you the last time we won a Stanley Cup. But today is that day. That changes. Today. We play them ten times, they might beat us nine. But not tonight. Well, it's actually morning, but anyway. See, now I can totally see it. I feel like if I had the jersey number on as well, it might help in some cases. New set of players, and I definitely know the right one. I... Don't know the left one, but like it's, it should be so simple. Was this guy play for the St. Louis Blues? Notes? I know who it is. Unfortunately, I don't want my player to be on IR for the whole season. So I'm going to go with Mason McTavish on the right side and try to figure out who this person in the middle is. Just from the jersey number, I got it. Tage Thompson. There we go. Mason McTavish is the lowest overall player there. I don't know why I picked him, but... Here we are. This will be our ninth forward. Nothing's jumping out at me. Yes, it is. I definitely know the right one. The middle one is Lazar, but why is there a B there? What's going on? Who is this imposter? Rions. Nope. Kakaniemi is good. But I'm gonna go with this mystery left player. Are you kidding me? It was Barzal. 
That's fine. We got Norris. Whatever. No more bowing out from the good players. If I get one, I'm taking them. Run it back. Thank you to the middle one. That... Should be known by everybody because it's not scrambled. I am, however, unable to figure out the two wingers on the outside here. I feel like the player on the right's good and I'm just missing something. Let's go for the right player. They're not gonna like it! I have been duped by a player that has already shown up. Cotter. Welcome to the team, I guess. I haven't really gone over what I will do if I pick the same player twice. I feel like I just have to take... One of the other two at that point. The middle one is really easy. There's only one letter out of place. I just got the player on the right. I am still trying to figure out the left one. I can't do it, but I'm going to take them. In the middle, we have Fabry. On the right, we have Joseph. Who is the mystery card? Number 67. That is somewhat unfortunate. Kraus is a good player. But I mean, Fabry is probably higher overall. I'm not sure Joseph and Kraus... Might be on the same kind of level there. It is time for our penultimate forward, the middle. Come on now. And which one is it though? I just got the right player. Still trying to figure out the left again. Either way, I think I have to go with the middle and hope that it's Patrick Kane. But even if it's a Vander, that's a solid player. And I feel like we can kind of use left wingers. The right is Forrester. Let's reveal and see which Kane we got. Boom, there it is. We get Patrick Kane. That is a great pickup. And it was DeBrusque on the left. Wow. And this will be our final forward. The only one I know right off the bat is the right. Actually, never mind. I just got them all. At least I think. The one on the left is up in the air, but I believe I know who it is. From left to right, we should have Faraby, Meyer, and Michelli. And I'm gonna go with Timo. Right on. There it is. Let's draft some defensemen. First up, we have an easy one. Followed by two that aren't jumping out at me. I don't have a clue. Let's go with Orlov because it's the only player that I know. Never in a thousand years would I have got the player on the right. Lindgren, that's a bit of a miss. But you know what? Orlov is very good. We take that. Next up, we have an easy one to start with. An easy one on the end. And the middle... Not sure yet. I can't get it. I'm staring at these letters and I cannot decode them. I'm gonna take Bowen Byram on the left. Oli Mata is on the right. Let's figure out who this middle person is. And it is Sean Walker. That's unfortunate. He's really good, but Bowen Byram, also a great pickup. Let's keep flying through these here. I definitely know the first one. I definitely know the last one. Why is there always one that I cannot figure out? I'm not even gonna waste time. We're going for the left player, because that would be one Brady Shea. Two players with the same jersey number, apparently. Joel Edmondson was in the middle. Doesn't even have a picture right now. But we absolutely take Brady. Here we go. Is he a defenseman? Or am I making that name something it isn't? I just got the left one. I feel like I know the right one, but I don't think they're a defenseman, so I don't know it. <laughs> and the middle is once again tripping me up. Is there an Evans that plays defense? Not that I can think of. Jake Evans is a forward, as far as I know. Well, anyway, I'm going with Tyson Berry. Oh, Riker Evans. Totally forgot about him. Got Mayfield in the middle, and we did, in fact, grab a Tyson Berry. An ultimate defenseman. I don't know any of these. Actually, I just got the left one and it's kind of funny. Who could this player in the middle be? They have a V, a Y, an X, and three E's. You're just making this up. I'm not even going to sit here and try to figure out who the other two are because I want the left player that is literally spelled backwards. Give me Pulock. Again, every time you see it, it makes complete sense. Alexiev. And on the right, we had Hamilton, which is kind of unfortunate, but... What handedness is Pulock? Hopefully he's left. Or actually, do we want him to be right? I don't know. We'll find out when we get to NHL 24. And for our last defenseman, we have an unscrambled name. And he's pretty good. Not sure if you guys were able to figure out who the second and third card are. I have no idea. But it doesn't matter because I am selecting Graves. It was him again. Zamula returns with vengeance, but he is still not picked. And obviously, Pavel in the middle is 
going to be an unreal defenseman one day. But I am satisfied with Ryan Graves. I feel like we haven't had the best luck with goaltenders. Let's hope that changes right now. First one, no clue. Second one, no. I don't know any of these at first glance. Well, I also just realized these are defensemen. I did not turn on the goalie filter yet. So that probably contributes to me not being able to decode these. But we do have a John Carlson, a Jamie Drysdale, and a Jacob Slavin. Let's try this again, shall we? The first one is not scrambled. Who is the second one? And why should the third one be easy and it's not? I sort of want to go the safe way and take Forsberg because he should at least be a decent overall. But I'm not going to do that. We're going for the middle guy. Yo, let's go! Let's go! Igor Shosturkin! That was insanely lucky. I genuinely thought it was going to be someone I've never heard of. And here we are. Well, we got a stud muffin in the net. It doesn't even matter. Does not matter who we get here. The right one definitely hopped out at me. He would be a great backup goalie as well. So I'm thinking of just scooping him and calling it a day. I believe I just decoded the left one. The middle, still a mystery. Helberg, someone, Johnny Quick. And we will be taking John Quick as our backup. It would be Laurent Brassois. He has appeared here before and we've drafted him once before, but this time... We got Jonathan Quick. Let's head over to NHL 24. There are a couple things to note here. Number one, this is probably the best team we've ever assembled. A lot of these players were actually higher overall than I thought they were going to be, so we are disgusting. If we don't win the cup now, we're never winning it. The second thing is that the divisions are all scrambled because I used a 33-team custom league again, so... It is what it is. It doesn't really matter. And last and certainly least, I drafted 13 forwards. Don't know how I pulled that one off, but I miscounted and we dropped Timo Meyer as a result because he was the last player we selected. So, team is ready to go. Let's see if we have some chemistry and hope that we can win this cup. I didn't realize it at the time, but we got the Ranger starter in Igor Shesterkin and their backup with Jonathan Quick. So, we just took their goaltender duo. Oh, yeah. We are cooking with oil now. Look at this. This has to be the one. It must be. Our offense is unbelievable. Let's check out the defense. Oh, a dash three. Mm -mm, that's got to go. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I will play Shea on the third pair if it means that we do not have a minus three. What's going on between you two, huh? Answer me, Tyson or Brady. We will be backstopped by the New York Rangers here with Shesterkin and Jonathan Quick. I'm going to say the pass that gets the most points with 98 and the team gets 49 wins. Let's simulate. How are we 3-3? Three, three, how are we 3-4-0 oh with this team? That should be impossible. 49 wins is looking like a big stretch at this point. We lose 3 nothing to the Rangers. We got out Igord. Is this seriously happening right now? My lack of understanding of NHL 24 continues to expand. How are these lines both plus five and they can't do anything? If I move Konechny up, it drops the second one to a plus one, which I am not going to do. I'm getting rid of a plus one and promoting McTavish to the third line. Don't think that'll help us. I genuinely might check this coach out. This guy's an A. An A. And our guy is a B. Absolutely. I am firing you. Andreoff is the interim head coach. And now I'm going to go hire this other guy. Caden Tanaka was not doing so well for whatever team he played for last. But hopefully he accepts this contract. One day at a time. Until we find out if we get this guy or not. It's been a few days. Really? I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And if he does refuse, we're going to run with an interim head coach. Go ahead. Ask me if I care. I want to thank you. Amazing. Amazing. And how about that chemistry? What a thing of beauty. Defensively, these guys aren't getting along now. But apparently Brady and Tyson all of a sudden made up. It's fine with me. In fact, I can even do a crazier one. Oh, yeah. And we lose our first game against the Ducks. We're, we're going to make playoffs, all right? This is it. This is where we turn the ship around. The TSN turning point. 
Eight nothing win over the Arizona Coyotes. Talk about a blowout. The Scramblers currently third in the division. I think we got this. 45 wins at least. Win that last game against Nashville. All right, 45 isn't too shabby. With 92 points, we finished third in custom division four. Carolina went off 116 points, 52 Ws on the year. They grabbed the President's Trophy. 18th place Golden Knights sneaking in over a few teams here. That's rough. Pasta had 94 points. Jesper Brad had 91. And then down here we have Verhage with 75. What would you like to say for yourself? Fedzi went all the way up to 89 overall. 71 points. That is solid. Patrick Kane, 80. Pasta got 54 goals. That might be a Rocket Richard. Igor did pretty good. 9-10 save percentage, 285. Jonathan Quick struggled. Still won, but not because of him. Barry had the most points with 33 and was a dash 10. That is unbelievable. I expected more from you guys. What an immaculate season for Uko Pekka. 41 dubs. On 923 save percentage, 250 GAA. Jake Yo did very well as well. Quinn Hughes leads defenseman with 88 points. Kale McCarr had 85. The real Patrick Kane got 114 and 50 goals. Nate Mack had 60 goals. So we're not even winning the Rocket Richard. Will Nye the hockey guy, 107. He actually tied Nate Mack, but yeah. Art Hart combo probably go into Patty Kane. I don't need to look at the rosters here because we didn't fantasy draft. So it's just the Winnipeg Jets. First three games, everybody knows the rules. That's a great start. That is a tremendous start. They can't win over the next two. So here we go. Awesome. Next up, we have the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. That is interesting. First three games, everybody knows the rules. How did this happen? Someone explain that to me, please. We're not going to win the next two. No, no shot. Okay. Oh, will we push a game seven? Yes, they're going to score on the first shot of the game on Igor Shesterkin. And to just add the icing on top, it was McTavish. We have one of him, but ours is the imposter, apparently. All right, what is going on? I'm just simming. Screw that. Get me out of here. An absolute joke. You guys suck. I just want to win a Stanley Cup just one time in a fantasy draft, in one of these drafts, in anything. Throw me a bone here. The Stanley Cup champions are the New York Rangers. The Calder goes to the Chicago Wolves. Jesper definitely had his guy. 18 points in 12 playoff games. He had an assist per game. 91 overall. Pasta just over point a game. Verhage was over point a game as well. I feel like everybody kind of performed. Igor had a 9-10 save percentage. 279. That's pretty decent. Jonathan Quick came in for relief, I guess. At some point, I believe this is where our struggles were. Defensively, we just could not get it done. Thought Igor might be able to make up for some of that, but nope, apparently not. It's not even like these guys are bad. I don't understand why they did so miserably. Of course, the real Igor, 917, 265, had a stellar playoffs. Adam Fox may very well get the con Smythe. He had 32 points in 24 games played. That is sickening. He was a dash three though. Just throwing that into the mix. Jake and Bake had 30 points. Sebastian had 27, 25 from Svechnikov. And then you finally find a Ranger. It's going to be Adam Fox. It's between him and Igor. And I've seen goalies with better stats and players with less points and the goalie still didn't get it. So my confidence level is very high that it's going to Adam Fox. Patrick Kane gets the Art Ross, but not the heart. That goes to Will Nye. Quinn Hughes going to scoop up a Norris Lady Bing season to the real Patrick Kane. How? How? What did the Fox say? Did get the Con Smythe. Freddie Anderson with the Vesna. Allmark gets the Jennings. Well, Allmark and Swayman. Gudis is awarded the Bill Masterton. Richie... Gets the Jack Adams. That is well-deserved because they made it way farther than I thought they had any chance to. Selkie season for Kopitar. Another trophy for Willie. And Nate Mack, 60 goals, has a Rocket Richard in his back pocket. Here's your playoff tree. We may not have won a Stanley Cup, but you know what? That draft was still fun. Here's the AHL, if anyone wants to see that for some reason. But thank you for watching. 
The link to the website that I created will be in the description below. Let me know if you're using it and if you have ideas for features or draft ideas. I challenge you to try the exact same draft that I just did with the name scramble and let me know how your team turns out. Also, you should subscribe and like the video. Please. All right, on that note, I will see you soon.